Hello everyone, Flopsy here, and welcome back to my LP of Lemmings on the Game Boy. So, we have finished the fun rank, and I did look up which levels were actually overlooked during this um, fun LP, and the levels that weren't used were... Fun 8, not as complicated as it looks. Fun 19, take good care of my lemmings. Fun 20, we are now at Lemcon 1. Um, technically with Fun 21, we had a level called Lib and Lem, I think. But it was actually the same level as It's a Doddle. So it wasn't the actual level you live and Lem. So I have put it on the list. Um, Fun 22, beast of a level, obviously because it's a special graphic level, it's not going to be in this game. So, in the tricky rank, we're probably not going to see menacing either. So, uh, Fun 28, if only they could fly, and Fun 30, lock up your lemmings. They were the only levels that weren't re-represented in the fun rank, in any way, shape or form. Uh, I have got the entire list of tricky levels here, to, as reference to refer, refer to as we go through the tricky rank and so I will have an idea of how the level order should be while going through this so we're going to start off with quite a tricky level already this one is a doddle there's 14 lemmings and you can only lose one which actually makes this level incredibly difficult as I, as I said in the fun rank when we had this level, which is actually what you live and lem was um, based on this level, um, there's actually no left or right hand wall on this, so it makes crowd control a lot harder on this. But luckily, I know the solution. So we only got one bomber, three blockers. Three builders, a basher, and a digger to clear these obstacles. I'm not sure if the digger that will walk over the digger. Okay, it does, so I did it wrong. So the first lemming digs. And then once it's past a certain point, we assign a bomber to the digger. And we've done it wrong, so it got assigned to the walker. So we're already off to an execution heavy start here. Okay, I think I did it right this time. Yep, there we go. So that was the idea, um, and then we build the lemmings out of the hole. So it's quite a hard, it's quite a hard thing to do that digger bomber thing, but it's also a very hard solution to spot for the first level in the tricky rank. I think I was stuck on this level for ages when I originally did my Game Boy run. Okay, so now we just have to get this. Now we just have to get this builder right. And we did get it right. I just hope I didn't assign it too early. Shouldn't have. And unfortunately we had someone wriggle out to the, the right, so... The left, sorry, so... I don't even know why that happens. Maybe we need to do it over here or something. messed up because um, I assigned two builders there. <laughs> ah, didn't get to the didn't get to the builder in time. to pause after doing this. Okay. Just to make 
make sure I don't, just to make sure I have enough time to do it. It's a bit unfortunate that someone wriggled out to the left though, isn't it? When we initially did this. It's pure luck whether this works or not sometimes. So it's a bit of a shame that I don't really know why it happened and it was only one lemming that wriggled out. The rest of the crowd managed to not wriggle out so it's a little bit of a bug there. Gonna see if it happens again but won't see it yet obviously. Okay it hasn't happened this time luckily. So we're just left with the three blockers which are no good at all in this level because I don't I've never done it myself but I've never free, I've never been able to free blockers in this game so I don't know if it's possible to do or not I might test it on one level at some point just to see if it can be done it's weird whenever this emulator plays the exit sound the lemming exiting sound for the first time in a when I start it off, it always messes up the sound, but when it when it plays it the, ne the next time, it actually plays properly, like it will do now. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's like it can't play the sound correctly first time. <laughs> okay, so that took a while, but it was only because it was this is a very execution of the heavy level. Uh, we got We All Fall Down as level 2, which is what it's supposed to be according to the list um a bag of lemming drops though it's called not we all fall down i don't think any levels called we all fall down in this and they've decreased the time limit to two minutes as well and you've got to save 12 and i don't think there's any cheese on this this time so we have to do we have to do eight floaters and we have to do well eight floaters and then um the other six will have to be diggers. I really don't know why there's climbers in this. It's like they knew about the minor cheese in this. So which one's the, the first non-floater? Uh, I think we know because uh, there's a little bit of... They've closed the gap here by floating early, haven't they? I think they might be okay. Yep. So, for some reason, only three diggers are signed, but luckily the rest of the lemmings just fell in line. And we were able to lose two anyway, so even if those, even if two lemmings died, we would have been okay. So at least we managed to do this one first time. So according to my little list, the next level should be a ladder would be handy. Let's see if it is. It's not a ladder would be handy, it's a ladder would be nice. <laughs> got 14 lemmings and 7 to be saved. And we've only got 3 minutes to do this build fest, so we've got to really get a move on as well. And if you look as well, the skill set literally gives you enough to do the job doesn't give you anything else other than eight builders, blockers and mighty bombers. This is a very long builder fest as well. I think it has to be done from this here because I don't think they survived that drop. So the bottom of the level is effectively useless. So this is just going to be a boring build. Okay, you saw me sign a blocker there. For some reason it didn't assign. Jeez, this game is so buggy. It's like it can't assign under the trap door or something. Again, I sign a blocker and it doesn't it doesn't happen. What a buggy game.
Okay, when I sign the second blocker, it actually assigns. That's weird. There we go, I did it first time this time. Jesus Christ, it took four attempts to get the blocker to assign first time. There we go. So that's a very weird glitch with the blocker there. I don't know why I don't know why it was being weird. It's like the game just forgot to assign the blocker. Just dropped completely dropped it. So as you can see for the first few levels already, we've already had a weird glitch in Tricky 1 and we've had an execution based glitch in this level as well. So you can already tell that half of the half of the problems of this game are going to come from the game not doing what it's supposed to do. It just, it just eats your inputs rather than actually assigning them. I mean you, you definitely heard me both on all three occasions. Put, putting in the, doing that clicking thing that it, that clicking sound that um, it does. Yeah, we've got plenty of time it seems. We're allowed to lose seven lemmings as well. We're allowed to lose seven lemmings on this level, so it's not all bad. So the save requirements are very lax on this difficulty at the moment, with the exception of Tricky 1. Look at they survived that drop. The level would be pretty impossible if they didn't survive that drop. Maybe that fall is survivable then. Should have tested it before I... Uh, should have tested it before I uh, tried to solve the level. It's a bit weird here as well, the way the water's got gaps in between the terrain and the water. Just goes to show how blocky this game is when it comes to handling terrain tiles. Okay, not too bad, we're on to level 4 already. Which, uh, referring to my little list, should be... Here's one I prepared earlier. From what I remember, this one is actually on the present on the Game Boy version. Except to just call it one I prepared earlier. This level's pretty strange as well. Because the way you deal with the one-way wall, I believe, is difficult. Different on this one. Not difficult. So they've even given you five minutes, which hints that this level's going to be a long haul. Uh, not too bad so far. I'm probably thinking of the trick taxing repeat of this level. And it is hard to see, but that is actually a one way wall. It's a bit weird how the basher just stops there. And the block has disappeared for a moment there, and it disappeared for a brief moment again then. So the easiest way to deal with this one-way wall is just to build over it. And the taxing repeat, you definitely have to build over the wall, because I think it's the only way to beat the level. So I think the way I do this and the taxing repeat are very much the same. Probably give or take a few skills. I don't think it matters where I build from either. It might matter. We need four builders for the remainder of the level, so we need to make sure we do this in four. I've got to be careful not to double click as well, which I have done on a level already since starting this rank. I managed to put two builders in on Tricky 1, where every builder counts. 
So the builder goes a length of a steel block if that if you want a good measurement. It, it, so it'll go from one corner of a steel block to the another other corner of a steel block. So the way the steel blocks are tiled in this level helps you measure the builders. I think it's also just as wide as the hot cross here. So I think the cross here is a good indication of how far the builder will go. It will go from one corner to the crosshair to the other corner of the crosshair. It doesn't quite fit in it. I think it's like one pixel too small, the crosshair. Oh, we did it in three, so that's alright. I keep underestimating the builders in this game. I keep thinking they'll cover less distance when they actually do. So this is just another boring builder fest level, but it's nostalgic at the same time because it is a level we all recognise. And it does look pretty much the same. And of course when I say that, I remember there's actually a gap here and there isn't a gap in the original level. So the one way wall the one-way wall and the first obstacle we bash through, they're actually on the same platform on the original version of this. I don't know why I'm trying to sign with the builder. Wouldn't have mattered, I've got a spare builder anyway. Oh, got overclicked accidentally there. I've got to stop doing that. So yeah, I remember there being a broken, like a jagged gap in the, the terrain over here in the original version maybe they tried to recreate the uh, jagged gap in um, this but put instead put it in the middle of the level just to be annoying so the levels are tricky I haven't been too interesting at the moment they're all just builder fests but they were pretty much builder fests in the original game as well So now we play the waiting game. I think we only had to save seven in this one as well. So they pretty much they're pretty much putting fifty percent save requirements on this level at these levels at the moment. So while I'm waiting, I'll just have a sneak peek at what the next level should be. Careless clicking costs lives. I think this one's rather interesting as well from what I remember on the Game Boy. But I'll wait for this level to finish before I start talking about it. So this level was a 5 minute level and we've taken over 4 minutes. So you can see why they put the high time limit in this. Although sometimes the time limit is there intentionally to kick your butt. <coughs> oh, excuse me.